Hi, my name is Tim. Welcome to my channel. I'm a flooring and stair contractor and today I'm going to show you a really cool way to finish off your floors around kitchen cabinets for no extra material cost at all. So without any further ado, let's hit it. So beautiful, you and me, we meant to be in the great outdoors, forever free. So we're just installing some naturally aged floors, medallion collection, wood flooring in our kitchen. We're doing the whole house actually, but in the kitchen, we've come up to our kitchen cabinets. Now, whether I'm doing wood, vinyl, laminate, I've used this trick for years. Not so much a trick, but a way to finish off the floor around our cabinets. And how we're going to do it? We're going to use the flooring. We're going to take the floor and cover our toe kicks with the floor, kind of make new toe kicks. And that way we don't need any additional quarter round or that trim molding that looks kind of tacky sometimes. And it cleans up the toe kick. Sometimes toe kicks get beat up and dirty over time. Well, not anymore. This will make them look fresh, new, and tie your floor into your cabinets. Check that out. Now over here, we have a spot where you see, we can see the side of that piece we put in here. Well, what do we do here? We made a little return for it. You see that? We treat that just like a baseboard and we make an outside corner and we put that little return in there. Look at that. And the nice thing about it is when you're making these guys, all you have to do is set the fence on your table saw. You set the fence once you figure out the height and you just run it through. I'd like to leave the factory edge with the, the groove facing down and then just cut it. And then it's as simple as either gluing or tapping a few nails in it, and it holds it right up. Now, we even ran it across the front of the dishwasher here. But when you're doing it in front of the dishwasher, you will have to notch it for height. And I like to leave an access point. So what we did here was we 45'd it here. We 45'd it there. So if dishwasher ever breaks, we can just take this one piece off really easy but you don't need any additional material at all because you already have scraps of flooring. This doesn't even require whole pieces, so we like to save the scraps and do it at the end. But I wanted to share this and give you some ideas on how to finish off your floor in your kitchen. You can use this in bathrooms, underneath the built-ins. I use this everywhere. Closets, you name it. It's just a way to make it look a little more professional and finished off. Wow, so if you like that, be sure to check out the next video in this series where I show you how to make quarter round for the other areas in the kitchen where we can't use toe kicks. If you're new around here, we need your help to grow our channel. Liking, sharing, subscribing, and turning those notifications on helps us more than you realize. We also have a PayPal link below. We're trying to get some better camera and audio equipment like the new Sony we're on today. If you're new around here, you're going to want to check out some of our other content. We have lots of great videos on how to install wood, laminate, and vinyl floors, plus my favorite product reviews. I review wood, laminate, and vinyl, and I even put them head to head. Run them over, I dunk them, I smurge them, I do whatever it takes to find out which of these floors are best for you. If you haven't subscribed yet, I want you to take out your favorite flooring mallet, smash that subscribe button so you don't miss any future content. And thanks for watching.